Montana are looking to the future and hope the new EPA director will impose stricter environmental regulations. Danielle Garcia joins us live in studio with their reaction to the news today. Danielle. Yeah, Jim and Marcel, fishermen say the oil and gas industry has been hurting their livelihoods by building pipelines and dredging. One person I spoke with over the last says over the last th few years, the Atchafalaya Basin has seen a major decrease in crawfishermen from 3,000 to less than 300. But I've been crawfishing from the time of when I was about five or six years old, old enough to follow my dad and my brothers and my uncle, because they, you know, my whole family is a fishing family. I grew up in the basin fishing. Jody Mesh is a fourth generation crawfisherman from Henderson. He spends more than 200 days a year on the basin. And over the years, he's seen a decline in wildlife in the Atchafalaya Basin. Historically, let's say this level of water, it would traverse across this 20, 20 somewhat mile span of the Atchafalaya Basin. But now you, you can imagine the core and the pipeline and oil and gas industry has come in and they've dug these canals and elevated these earthen dams, these spall banks, and they're continuous, almost with no gap. This is one of the stagnant water areas in the Atchafalaya Basin, and Mesh says it's because of the loose environmental regulations, as well as the pipeline construction through the area, that sand piles are building up, hurting the environment, and also impacting the fishing industry. You know, when all of this work was done, this dredging by the core, the dredging by the pipeline industries, the dredging by the oil and gas industry, lack of consideration of the natural system of things, the natural flow of things, and not trying to, uh, impact it as little as possible to where the natural conditions continue to happen. Mesh says he is not against the oil and gas industry or the Trump administration, but he says he is against how the companies and the government have handled construction in the basin. He hopes the new EPA director will pay closer attention to the needs of the fishermen and the environment. That's their responsibility to, re to, to protect our environment for future generations, you know. Do the work to where you, you're leaving a leaving it better than what it was when you, you got there. It's an easy issue to work on as far as working across party lines because it's something that's going to affect Democrats as well as Republicans, as well as independents. He remains hopeful these issues will be fixed so his grandchildren and others can enjoy the basin as well. I, I mean, I would hope, I have two granddaughters, and I would love for them to be able to see some of the basin that I was able to see and that their grandfather was able to see. But if we don't start taking better care of it, our future generations, those young kids, are never going to experience the wild places that the Chafla Basin has to offer. Mesh is part of a group suing the Army Corps of Engineers over permits allowing construction on the Bayou Bridge pipeline through the basin. He says he joined the lawsuit because of the pipeline's track record of disregarding the environment and in hopes it will raise awareness of the basin. Live in the studio, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3. Paris by Paris headlines start in Lafayette, where the city picked